Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is How It Started, How It's Going, a series where we catch up with cast members who started their career on a Disney program. Okay, so tell us your name. Hi, I'm Ryan Gino. And what do you do for Disney, Ryan? I'm a program experience manager supporting the learning here at Disney programs. And what does that mean? What does your day-to-day -day look like here? That's a good question. My day-to-day -day is different all the time, and I love it. We get to help connect our participants to the endless possibilities that await here within the Walt Disney Company, and we do that through a variety of offerings that happen right here at Apprentice Hall. Classes, sessions where they can meet different cast members from around the world, and also earn certificates, things like masters and doctorates. We also get to take our participants out into Walt Disney World where they can experience the magic behind the scenes of our attractions through our Discover Disney offerings. So truthfully, every day is different. I love that. And what's your favorite part about your job? Hands down, it has to be seeing our participants succeed. Being a college program alumni myself, right? I know that um, I needed a cheerleader sometimes. I needed people uh, to confide in. I needed people to help support and develop and help me grow. When I see our participants come in and they learn what it takes to succeed in a company like this, they learn how to um, navigate right, these huge properties um, and figure out future career paths. I just love that. And so that, that's honestly the best part of my job is seeing them um, get to their dream roles. So being a college program alum yourself, is that how you started with the company? It is, yes. Yeah. So I did two college programs. Uh, the first time I did, I did a college program, I worked at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Back then, it was actually known as Disney MGM Studios. So I did uh, crowd control every single day for the Disney Stars and Motor Cars Parade, which was an amazing spectacle. Let me tell you, uh, just, I mean, bear in the big blue house. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Hercules, they're all just parade in down Hollywood Boulevard. And then I did a second college program a year later, this time working at Kilimanjaro Safaris over at Disney's Animal Kingdom. That's so cool. So you started at Fantasmic though? Yes. Want to go visit? That would be, dare I say, Fantasmic. Let's do it. Uh, uh, uh. All right, Ryan, so how does it feel to be back here at the Fantasmic Amphitheater? It feels amazing. Uh, just a lot of memories that come back from working here so long ago of all of our guests coming through, working with all of my peers back then. It's crazy to think how long those friendships last from your program. So what were some of your favorite memories from working here? Probably the crowds. It's a very popular show, Fantasmic. Being able to see how many people can come in and just seeing at the end when Mickey is like popping out, right? And the whole crowd goes wild, right? They all cheer, they go crazy for Mickey. Um, and honestly, it never got old, right? I used to see the show two, sometimes three times a shift. What was your favorite part about working in Hollywood Studios? Ooh, my favorite part about working at Hollywood Studios, the immersion. I think uh, bringing those Disney stories to life, all these different areas, right? Throughout my career, I've worked in many different areas of Hollywood Studios. Uh, so working at Galaxy's Edge or acting as a duty manager in the park where, you know, I get to to truly help run the daily operation of the entire theme park when I work as a duty manager. Being able to immerse people in Toy Story Land, right? Or, you know, howdy partners, welcome to Andy's backyard. And then the next moment you're in a galaxy far, far away. And then the next moment you're over here and you're in Mickey's imagination. I think the immersion that happens in this park is just very unique. I also really love a little bit of the history for this park as well. The fact that it used to be a real live working yeah. uh, film and television studio. Um, you know, they used to film the 90s Mickey Mouse Club, which I grew up with that right here in this park. Um, so that's really cool too. The old school backlot tour, mm -hmm. watching how movies are made. I think this park really sparked my interest growing up in creation yeah. and um, how, how Disney makes movies. Yeah. So I'm forever grateful for that. Caitlin. Hello. We're here at Fantasmic. How crazy Yay, is that? Yeah, the best show ever. It's such a good show, right? <laughs> what do you like so much about working here on your Disney College program? I honestly love all of my coworkers so much. They are so helpful and supportive, and I love watching them dance with the guests in the aisles while we're loading the show. I love watching their faces when they get to see the show. 
Um, especially if it's like their first time seeing it, you get to watch them just light up and have so much fun. What has stood out to you outside of working at Fantasmic? Like what's another big program yeah. experience that yeah. you loved? I love all of the opportunities that the college program has given me from mm. classes to access to the recruiters. If I have a question about something or if I want to stay with the company and have need some more direction on how to do that. There's so many people that are available for me to talk to. What would you say are some like transferable skills that you're gaining while working in this location? Yeah, um, I think a big one is it takes a lot of courtesy to work here. We see a ton of people every night. It's the end of the day. Sometimes they're hot, they're tired. They just want to find a seat and see the show. Um, and it, it can take a lot of happiness and a lot of smiling and a lot of hi, like how is everything going, is everything all good, to really handle some of those situations that occur. Um, so I've definitely improved a lot on like the courtesy key and having that courtesy and making sure that I'm meeting the guests where they need to be met in the theater. So Caitlin, I know you've been engaged in a lot of our learning opportunities at Flamingo. I've seen a lot of classes. Yes. That's amazing. Thank you for making the most of your program. I love the classes. <laughs> Is there like a favorite uh, learning opportunity you've been a part of? Yeah, I think so far it's been the Epcot Origins class. I thought it was so cool to see all of like the plans that were supposed to be Epcot and how those have translated into the park and then like having the class and then going to see those things in the park as well and like oh I learned that in this class and I learned that over here it's a really great one I like the animal science education team a lot too because that's something that I want to do with my life but I think Epcot Origins has been my favorite So Ryan, you obviously have a very unique perspective being a Disney College Program alumni as well as now getting to work with participants in your current role. Why do you think a Disney program is so valuable? I think a Disney program is so valuable because it just teaches you a lot of those life skills um, that you may not always learn while graduating from high school, right, or, or starting out in college. So emotional intelligence, um, you know, meeting roommates, managing your own calendar, um, being out on your own, right? And, and, and I think there's a, a really cool journey of learning who you are yeah. when you're on a Disney program, uh, when you meet people from around the world, and when you're with our guests in our parks. So I just think that's value that you can really, you really get that anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, second to that though, um, I think it's just that work experience too, mm -hmm. um, of being able to say, I worked at Disney, right? Yeah. To have that on your resume and to get the core values that this company teaches you and just that prospect too of having fun at work, right? Because oh, right, you should always have fun at work. It's Disney. Yes. Uh, for people who work at Disney and they don't have fun at work, like my goodness, right? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Work on that, right? Yeah, it's Disney. <laughs> do you have any advice for participants who maybe want to have a career with Disney outside of their program like you do? Absolutely. Um, network. Right, connect anyone who's been in any one of my classes or any, any one of the classes with the learning team. Yeah. Uh, they've learned how important networking is. Um, so keep in contact with people. Um, you know, LinkedIn is a great way to connect with people on your program as well. It doesn't hurt to send people a message every now and then. Um, nothing crazy, right? Just a quick, hey, I was thinking about you. Hope you're doing well, right? Those are quick ways that you can build relationships with people. All of those skills just really come together to help you um, succeed and get to that dream job. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, so last question is gonna be the hardest one. Are you ready? Ready. Do you recommend a Disney program? A hundred percent. Get on one right now. Come join us. Come take a Disney program. Get in our classes. Um, I can't wait to give you a goofy graduate um, in the future when you're with us on one of our programs. We're so excited for it. Absolutely, because you have to start somewhere. Why not here? Start right here, right now.